good morning students today we will see the rate of convergence of the regular policy method okay and uh, previous class we have seen rate of convergence of secant method it is of order 1.618 now secant method regular policy both are same except the condition that at each iteration we have to locate the interval in regular falsi method which is not done in secant method only that is the difference therefore since we have to locate the interval at each iteration in regular falsi method one of the end point is fixed in the interval one of the end point is fixed in the interval okay in regular falsi method this is very important point once again in secant method we have to apply the formula iteratively repeatedly directly x0 x1 x2 like that but in regular falsi method at each iteration we have to locate the interval that means one of the end point of the interval is fixed at each iteration this is the main point and another one if in the equation f of x equal to 0 f of x is convex function f of x is convex function what is mean by convex function means this is the curve y equal to f of x and if i draw a line segment which must lies above the curve above the curve then the function is said to be convex see this straight line this straight line lies above the curve okay that is the line segment between any two points on the graph of the function lies above the graph of between the poop two points exactly this straight line lies above the curve y equal to f of x so this function f of x is convex now what is the condition here if in the function f of x equal 0 f of x is convex f of x is convex in the interval x naught comma x1 starting interval x naught comma x1 that contains the root then one of the points either x naught or x1 is always fixed in location of the interval either x naught in this interval x naught or x1 is one of the point is fixed always and other point varies with k k means repeat iteration number k means iteration number therefore see, let us assume that x naught is fixed then what is the next root x naught comma x2 x naught comma x3 x naught comma x4 like that we are getting the location of the intervals at each iteration if the point x0 is fixed, then the function f of x is approximated by the line passing through the points. What is actually secant method, regular false method? We have to join the two points and that line segment cuts the x-axis at the next iterative point. Next approximate root. Therefore, f of x, x0 is fixed. Therefore, one point is x0, comma f0. One point is x0, comma f0. And uh, other point is... Uh, located by the interval therefore a random point i have taken xk comma fk let us join these two points to get the curve and uh, the curve intersect x axis at the next approximate root that is xk plus one right so same procedure as a following in secant method the what is this is xk minus one fk minus one xk fk in secant method but in regular falsi method since one point is fixed uh, I'm taking x0, comma, f0. This is fixed point and uh, the next interval xk, comma, fk. Therefore, what is the error equation in secant method? In previous class, we have seen this epsilon k plus 1 equal to c into epsilon k into epsilon k minus 1. Okay. And in secant method, we modify this equation to as to get epsilon k plus 1 equal to c into epsilon k power p. Then we got P finally 1.618 in secant method. But now here also up to here this is the same. But see in place of K this is XK comma FK regarding epsilon K. And what is its previous point X naught F naught. Therefore this epsilon K minus 1 becomes what epsilon naught. Epsilon K minus 1 becomes epsilon naught. So error equation in secant method. Error equation in secant method gives epsilon k plus 1 equal to this c as is well and epsilon k minus 1 is becomes epsilon naught and epsilon k as is well and you know what is c as in secant method 1 by 2 f double dash xi by f dash xi right 
and what is epsilon naught error x naught minus xi the most important point is epsilon naught means what x naught minus xi see is there any k term is there no so this error is independent of k that means this k epsilon k plus 1 epsilon k so epsilon naught is a fixed constant now since it is independent of k epsilon is fixed constant so c is a constant epsilon naught is a constant so i can club these two c into epsilon naught as another constant c star so what is this equation becomes epsilon k plus 1 equal to c star into epsilon k right this is what the form epsilon k plus 1 equal to some c into epsilon k power p what is p value here 1 so regular policy method has a rate of convergence 1 now this one so we have what epsilon we have epsilon k plus 1 equal to c star epsilon power epsilon k power 1 so regular policy method rate of convergence is 1 and is called it has linear rate of convergence it has linear rate of convergence linear stands for 1 now another method rate of convergence of newton raphson method rate of convergence of newton raphson method what is a newton raphson iterative formula xk plus 1 equal to xk minus f of xk by f dash xk and what is the error at the kth iteration we have epsilon k equal to xk minus xi so what is xk becomes take minus xi this side xk equal to xi plus epsilon k okay and so xk plus 1 is what xk plus 1 is xi plus epsilon k plus 1 now let us substitute this xk plus 1 and xk in equation 1 now xk plus 1 means what xk plus 1 means what xk plus 1 is xi plus epsilon k plus 1 equal to xk means what xi plus epsilon k minus f of xk substitute xk here so xi plus epsilon k and denominator also f dash of xi plus epsilon k okay now here xi xi cancelled so remaining part is epsilon k plus 1 equal to here epsilon k here epsilon k and uh, expand this one in taylor series both numerator as well as denominator in taylor series so what is the taylor series of this f of xi plus epsilon k f of xi plus epsilon k into f dash xi epsilon k square by factorial to f double dash xi numerator coming to denominator f dash of xi plus epsilon k so what is the first term f dash of xi plus epsilon k into f double dash of xi and so on okay and uh, we are finding root of what equation f of xi equal to 0 so f of xi equal to f of x equal to 0 since xi is exact root it satisfies the equation so f of xi is value 0 substitute here f of xi 0 so this term and off and uh, remaining equation is epsilon k minus starting from here second term onwards epsilon k f dash xi plus epsilon k square by factorial 2 f double dash xi and denominator as usual okay next one in numerator and denominator take f dash xi common take f dash xi common okay i have taken common these are the remaining expressions f dash xi gets cancelled and see here the epsilon k plus 1 equal to epsilon k minus this is what epsilon k plus epsilon k square by 2 f double dash this numerator part same take this denominator to the numerator so whole to the power of minus 1 and when i take into numerator part this 1 plus the next term onwards put in one bracket this is why i am taking this in bracket to expand this one using the formula 1 plus x whole power minus 1 1 what is x is this bracket function is x okay so 1 plus x whole power minus 1 so what is this epsilon k this term as is well and this is 1 plus x whole power minus 1 means what 1 minus x plus x square and so on so i am considering only first two terms 1 minus x minus x means what minus epsilon k f double dash xi by f dash xi this is the formula i am considering up to first two terms only then 
first two terms only then this simplifying taking this product product of these two brackets this is epsilon k as well minus epsilon k into 1 epsilon k next epsilon k into epsilon k square f double dash this next second term into this term so epsilon k square by 2 f double dash i into 1 next product of these two what is this epsilon k square into epsilon k epsilon k cube by 2 f double dash i by f dash i whole square right these two terms are same similar what is this minus 1 and this is plus 1 by 2 so you will get minus 1 by 2 this minus into minus get plus so these two terms simplified as epsilon k square by 2 f double dash i by f dash i and the remaining terms contains what is the least power epsilon k cube terms all the terms are taken into the order of epsilon k whole cube and uh, neglecting this epsilon k cube terms what i am having finally epsilon k plus 1 equal to c into epsilon k square what is c this 1 by 2 f double dash i by f dash i asymptotic error constant and so it is of what form now epsilon k plus 1 is equal to c into epsilon k power p c into epsilon k power p therefore what is p value here 2 so nrm method has second order convergence second order convergence or rate of convergence of nrm is 2 and one can say nrm converges quadratically nrm converges quadratically this rate of convergence of in newton raphson method is important so once again let me repeat first write the newton raphson iterative formula xk plus 1 equal to xk minus f of xk by f dash xk now what is the error formula epsilon k equal to xk minus xi so xk is nothing but what xi plus epsilon k so xk plus 1 becomes what xi plus epsilon k plus 1 now substitute this x, xk plus 1 and xk in newton raphson formula wherever xk is there xk plus 1 is there those were replaced by these two so left side xk plus 1 replaced by xi plus epsilon k plus 1 and xk replaced by this and here f of xk this xk replaced by this f dash xk so f dash of xi plus epsilon k now this xi xi gets cancelled so remaining part epsilon k plus 1 equal to epsilon k and expand this one numerator and denominator both in taylor series expansion about the point xi so what is the numerator taylor series expansion f of xi plus epsilon k into f dash i plus epsilon k square by 2 f double dash i and denominator taylor series so what is the function f dash so first term will be f dash i plus h value epsilon k epsilon k into f double dash i one more term if you want to write right that is epsilon k square by 2 factorial f triple dash i and uh, the next part is since we are finding the root of f of x equal to 0 and this i is exact root f of xi is what 0 so this f of xi becomes 0 it vanish and the, the remaining part is epsilon k minus second term epsilon k f dash xi plus epsilon k square by 2 f double dash xi and denominator as it is right and in numerator and denominator take f dash xi common f dash xi common so what is the next term f dash xi common and gets cancelled and remaining parts are these and take this denominator part 1 plus this one into numerator it, so it becomes this up to here same and the new denominator becomes 1 plus epsilon k f double dash xi by f dash xi and so on whole power minus 1 and for this part let us apply the formula 1 plus x whole power minus 1 that is 1 minus x plus x square and so on and let me consider only first two terms this one as it is minus in place of x what is the term this one epsilon k f double dash xi by f dash xi and so on now take the multiplication of these two brackets take the multiplication of these two brackets so epsilon k minus this product of these two totally i have written four terms this one into two two terms the second term into these two terms again two terms and these two terms are similar so clubbing these two terms here epsilon k epsilon k gets cancelled and this is minus 1 and this is plus 1 by 2 of same term so this becomes 
एप्सिलॉन के 